All right, I got my brand new Napa brake cylinder, a part of the perfect brake job. Yeah, it would have been real nice if that goddamn mechanic uh, had thought of this $30 part uh, when we had the whole damn wheel torn apart and the brakes off. And uh, is there anything else you need me to get? I, I went three times to the auto parts store, and uh, good lord. And so now, all right, let, let's see. It is now uh, this spectacularly gorgeous. It is Friday afternoon, October 18th. Okay, so let's count the problems. Here is, here is my window now. So we got that. Now let's see what happens when I start my car and put it in reverse. All right. That was called a very easing it into reverse. Now I, I'm leaving Napa Auto Parts store and uh, I put this damn truck in reverse and it sounded like my goddamn transmission. I mean, kabang! Dude out in the parking lot swinging like, what the fuck was that? Looking at me like, is your transmission lying on the ground, dude? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Goddamn window, fucking brakes, transmission. Oh, it is a spectacularly gorgeous week for my last week in New York, baby. Oh, man, got to get back home. I got to barbecue some chicken legs and keep planting my perennials. And this weather is just getting nicer, and it's going to be 76 degrees here in a couple of days in late October in New York, baby. Uh, so anyway, uh, have I ever had a rant about Graham Hancock? I'm pretty sure because I remember Andy the Gardener going off about Graham Hancock. Uh, so... I, I guess so Netflix I guess is doing the second season of of ancient apocalypse featuring uh, the the work of Graham Hancock and uh, I gotta say Graham Hancock is uh, I've always loved the guy uh, he's a little bit of a whack job uh, but I, I have nothing but respect for that man for his ability to enrage people by, uh, by asking questions. Uh, and, and he's, you know, he's talking a lot about that on this new series about the criticism against him. All of these people, uh, you know, these mainstream uh, anthropologists and these uh, skeptics like Michael Shermer and all, all of these people continually calling Graham Hancock, you, you, you know, a pseudo anthropologist or a, 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 a archaeologist or whatever. What was his line? Uh, calling me a, a whatever word you want to use, archaeologist, to insult me. Is like calling a dolphin a pseudo fish. Graham Hancock has never in his entire life that that I can determine. Uh, the man has never claimed that he is an archaeologist, that he is an anthropologist. Uh, never claimed it. Uh, Graham Hancock, uh, I, I think, has about the same journalism training that I do. Uh, he's a journalist. He, he is a journalist uh, out there uh, asking questions and, and j j just asking these questions are enraging uh, all of these mainstream uh, archaeologists for uh, 
just asking questions. I mean, Graham Hancock, uh, he has certainly convinced me, uh, being a fellow journalist, uh, not buying the, the, the mainstream media story about how old, uh, you know, technological civilizations are. Uh, it just it just takes a little bit of literally a little bit of digging and now with all of this lidar technology sonar and all of this shit it, it's uh, it, it is an open and shut case that uh, the these mainstream archaeologists slash anthropologists are full of shit they're full of shit uh, that uh, humans, uh, goddamn humans, have been fucking up this planet a uh, hell of a lot longer than, uh, than, than these guys claim. Uh, and, and so he's, he's accomplished that part of the job. Uh, and, 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 you know, I, I wish Graham could uh, just stop there. Uh, you know, and then turn the job over to these uh, archaeologists and anthropologists saying, okay guys, uh, cut the crap uh, about the pyramids or whatever being 2,500 years old. You know, they have this place over there in, uh, in Turkey uh, that, 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 that's clearly uh, like like twelve thousand years old and uh, and, and all, all I mean it just the more and more they dig that they find out every year uh, more and more evidence of, of how these goddamn uh, these clueless moron mainstream uh, archaeologists and anthropologists uh, pretty much sounding like they they did. Uh, 200 fucking years ago, like uh, they, they're still repeating the same story, uh, like they're absolutely refusing to look at the most fundamental, basic, in your face evidence, clearly stating, clearly stating uh, that all over this planet. Uh, there is more and more evidence coming in uh, every year that uh, humans, uh, as, as I would uh, interpret it, ha have been fucking up this planet for thousands of years. Uh, for, for thousands of years. Longer than, than these anthropologists uh, ha have claimed. Uh, so, you know, I absolutely give Graham Hancock five stars for that, for that part of his job. Uh, he's proven uh, to me beyond any shadow of a doubt. Uh, but then, uh, so he, he's, he's proven that, but then it's, well, then what do you do with it? And, uh, and, and I have to admit, I'm a little bit embarrassed uh, with, with Graham Hancock with this uh, latest thing on Netflix. He's probably getting some fr pressure from Netflix. Uh, you know, that if you've ever seen that show, Ancient Aliens, uh, where that guy, George, or whatever his name is, you know, with the Medusa-looking hair, uh, making these, uh, th these absolutely outrageous claims. I don't know what, I can't remember from my logic class, what the, uh, the logical fallacy that that dude is uh, committing all the time where, you know, he states proposition one is one plus one equals two, proposition two, two plus two equals four, conclusion uh, that uh, we have uh, reptilian blood-sucking uh, alien, you know what I'm saying, uh, 
he 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 establishes a couple of, of quote facts that any third grader can argue and, and and then takes those facts as as evidence for the, this absolutely outrageous uh, fucking conclusion and and, uh, and, and and Graham Hancock is going down uh, this uh, going down uh, that idiot's road in this newest Netflix thing uh, just uh, it, it, it's time for Graham Hancock uh, to, to cash it in man uh, how old is this man anyway I know he's quite a bit older than I am uh, you've done your job Graham uh, now I am glad uh, 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 of a couple of things in this series that at least we have Graham Hancock on record uh, saying that there, there there's no giants in uh, in the human. Uh, fossil record, all of this unadulterated horseshit, you, you know, about the, what do they fucking call the Anunnaki and the Nephilim and, and all of this shit, these 16 foot tall uh, humanoids, uh, whether they came from Earth or outer space, I've never been clear. He comes, so Graham Hancock at least uh, is making it clear that if you think uh, that that there's been some s fucking race of giant h humans uh, I I interacting with, uh, w w w with modern humans or even Neanderthals, you are a clueless fucking moron. So he he does make that clear uh, that 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 he's not buying that unadulterated horseshit, and then he. Uh, he also states for the record uh, that he does not think Atlantis was in the Bahamas. Well, that, that's good to know, but uh, I, I, I have to say I, I was really embarrassed by his, uh, the show on, uh, that he filmed in the Bahamas. I don't know how many of you uh, follow all of this crazy shit. I'm, I'm just entertained by it. This thing, if you've ever heard of the Bimini Road, the Bimini Road, uh, so what it is, well, it's now under 18 feet of water, uh, and for at least the last 12,000 years, the Bimini, uh, the, the quote, Bimini Road, uh, it, it is under 18 feet of water and uh, the, the, you know for years like going back to the 1960s these clueless fucking morons looking at this obviously natural geological feature and claiming uh, that it was built by humans it, it, it's patently absurd unadulterated fucking horseshit. I've never believed one fucking word of this. And uh, so when Graham Hancock decided to dedicate, I don't know, 20 minutes to the Bimini, 20, 30 minutes, whatever that was, on the Bimini Road, I, 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 I really did say, okay, uh, what is Graham Hancock going to say about this? Because at least Graham Hancock, uh, with with, uh, with all of his other work, at least uh, he, he, he is clearly visiting places that were built by humans. Even mainstream archaeologists and anthropologists and the whole bit uh, cannot argue with Graham Hancock when he's going all over. The, at least we can agree that we, they were built by humans. Uh, we might not agree how many years ago they were built by, and, and all of this. But at least uh, Graham 
uh, for the for the last 30 or 40 years uh, has at least been been studying places where nobody can deny what he is asking questions about uh, we're, we're built by fucking humans uh, he does not buy into that fucking ancient alien uh, unadulterated horse shit none of that fucking ancient aliens and Anunnaki's and Nephilim's and all of that crap uh, that were built by humans uh, but this, this fucking Bimini Road bullshit. Uh, so he goes on there. And so Graham Hancock, he's, he's swimming around and doing all of this fucking sonar and all of this shit. So uh, Graham Hancock is 100% convinced that the Bimini Road in the Bahama Islands was built by humans. It, it's one of these ancient megalith structures, you know, like the pyramids and all the rest of these things. Uh, it was built by humans, not underwater, but before uh, the sea levels rose about 12,000 years ago, you know, the ancient apocalypse, whether you want to call it Noah's Flood, whether you want to call it the Younger Dryas, it's all the, it's all the same thing, uh, that something happened on this planet uh, during the Younger Dryas, uh, that's, uh, you know, if you're a Bible thumper, you would call it Noah's Flood. Uh, so, he is claiming, uh, and it's clear to him, it is clear to Graham Hancock that what he is looking at and showing you on this Netflix documentary about the Bimini Road that you're supposed to believe you're looking at something that was built by humans uh, o o over 12,000 years ago. I don't have any problem with things being over 12,000 years built by humans. I have no problem with that. Uh, what I have a problem with is an obviously naturally occurring geological feature uh, being being built by humans is uh, is what I'm. They, 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 he does absolutely nothing on any level. I do not see one scintilla of evidence that Graham Hancock presents in 30 minutes uh, trying to convince us that we're looking at something made by humans. It bullshit. Unadulterated horseshit. But at least I was very glad uh, at the end of it. He just wanted to make sure that people uh, understood that he was not suggesting that the Bahama Islands were Atlantis. Uh, that he is no way, shape, or form suggesting that uh, that Atlantis uh, was uh, 60 miles off the coast of Florida. So that's good to know that he hasn't uh, lost every last shred of his fucking brain. Oh, uh, but anyway, all of the bullshit. All right, I got to barbecue some chicken legs and plant me some perennials on this spectacularly gorgeous day and wait for the beautiful moonrise while I still can. Bye, guys.